In this step-by-step -step video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can do a test order on Shopify. Now, this is very easy and quick. Now, by doing a test order, you can make sure your checkout uh, process and setting for order, settings for order processing and inventory and shipping and notifications. Like you can check the tax if it's correct okay now i'm going to be showing i'm going to be showing you how you can do that in a few seconds okay now first thing you want to log into your uh, shopify store and i'm going to show you guys how you can do a test order on shopify so that you can make sure everything is correct including the shipping like process and um like taxes and stuff like that now i'm going to be showing you how this works in a few seconds first thing you need to do guys you want to click on settings at the very bottom left and then you want to click on payments okay as you can see here guys after you click on payments probably you will find like testing order for under like uh in the top here but most for the most like most people they will sh uh, see like choose a provider so you just need to click on choose provider and you want to search for test okay now it says here test uh for testing get away um Okay, so as you can see, guys, uh, is meant for testing. Shopify will not charge your transaction fee on orders paid with this getaway. You can use the following codes in place of the credit card number when checking out. Now, instead of putting your own credit card number, you want to just add there two. One, I'm sorry, one, okay. In the card number, you want to just enter one and the uh, the code and the, the 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 expiring date you just need to add the um a correct expiring date like 2025 or something like that okay now when i click on activate here and what you guys need to do next is you want to go to uh your own shopify store and you want to like add um a product to your card now i'm going to show you how this i'm going to show you how this works in a few seconds right now okay okay as you can see i'm going to use the shopify store now when i go to products and you want to click this uh, preview on on online store and you want to add this product to your cart okay here add to cart now you want to if you click on checkout cl click on view cart and this is the product okay now if you click on checkout you will have to enter there the the address you can just enter there a random address and stuff like that now we're, if they ask you guys for a credit card information like i said the card number it should be one okay and that's the expiring date it should be something like 2025 and uh, you can just come up with an any number okay uh, okay and uh, the name it can be any name the credit card name it can be any name and after you click on um, check out the check out and then you you can see if there is a problem with your ch if it says the order has been successfully thank you for purchasing this item or thank we received your order that means that's how it's going to look for uh, when your customers purchase the order now if i'm going to click on um, check out if because i'm not paying for any uh, like so shopify plan i'm not able to add there uh the information like the credit card and address and stuff like that now if it doesn't allow you guys if you add one and it doesn't allow you to purchase then it, you can just add your real inf credit card information and just buy the product and yes your credit card will be charged but you just need to click on orders click on the product and click on refund you can just treat it as a real order you can just ref click on refund and you will receive your refund refund okay if you don't understand anything let me know in the comments i reply to every single comment see you guys in the next video please drop a like and see you guys in the next video